Hello there adventurers and welcome to Wall ADM. Today we're going to take a look at another chess puzzle that you could use in your Pathfinder or your D&D campaign. Now uh, a lot of you seem to like my last chess puzzle which was uh, like number seven or number eight. It's been uh, a few months since I recorded that one and I've uh, been wanting to do another one and I think I've got one that you're going to like. This is actually based on um, a puzzle called the Eight Queens from 1848. And our adventuring party has entered a uh, room in a dungeon where they're presented with an 8x8 chessboard with a few queens on there. And their mission is to save the queen. So our adventuring party is in this lower room here. And uh, this does have a corridor to the north that goes into our puzzle room. And we'll get to uh, this here in just a little bit. But around this room is a bunch of broken down statues. The rock is really nice. I mean, it's really fine granite or uh, uh, marble. But a, a bunch of, and, and they can, you can do a perception roll or just let them know that it looks like they, if they were to be put back together, they would form chess pieces. So you have crumbled rooks and bishops and knights and kings. And in fact, there's only one piece left in here, and that's this piece over here that's pretty much still all put together. And you can do a perception roll to let the party members know that this piece over here is actually, I mean, so it has a face intact and stuff, so it is watching the party members as they come in. Now, if they approach this chess piece, they'll notice that it is a bishop, and it is predominantly blue. Everything about it is outlined in, in the color blue. And if they ask the bishop any questions, he just has one line that he keeps repeating. And that line is, my queen is in danger. Please move my queen to safety. And the blue bishop, as far as a stone chess piece can go, I mean, he looks uh, very concerned for his queen. But that's the only thing that he says. My queen is in danger. Please move my queen to safety. Now, the bishop is very, very heavy. Um, we're going to say it's probably about six, a six foot tall chess piece and the party, uh, the players aren't going to get anywhere by moving it around or any of this rubble in here. So let's move on to the puzzle room. Now the party members can step on any checkerboard or uh, any square of this chessboard um, and they'll notice that the entire floor is the chessboard. There's no, there's nothing along the outside. This is just the wall here. Um, on all sides but it is an 8 by 8 checkerboard floor and again they can move around in any part. Now what they'll notice in here is there are eight chess pieces in here and we're going to say they're probably about eight feet high and each chess piece is a queen and each queen has a predominant color and they have an aura around them. So we have uh, uh, a queen that is predominantly black one that is red, one that is green, and so on and so forth. Seven of these queens have their, their hands positioned as if they're about ready to cast a magic spell. And in these hands are two glowing orbs. And the orbs are the same color as the queen. So the yellow queen has two glowing yellow orbs in her hands. So that's seven of the queens. There's an eighth queen, and that's this one here. And this queen, is predominantly blue and has a blue aura around her and she has no orbs glowing in her hands and the facial expression on this queen looks to be one uh, she looks frightened or like she's in trouble and needs help as opposed to these seven other queens that have scowls on their face now the party uh, the players no matter what they do these other seven queens cannot be moved they are in place However, each one can rotate and either keep their eyes on a player, uh, uh, an adventurer, or keep their eyes on the blue queen, or however as a DM you see fit. But these can rotate, but the players cannot move them. And in fact, if they try to touch one of these queens, they're going to uh, face the wrath of one of these orbs, and they're going to take some damage, and we'll get to that here in just a little bit. So all of these chess pieces, number one, they're indestructible. So no matter what kind of damage the players try to do them, 
due to them, they cannot be destroyed. They are also magic resistant, so they cannot be uh, shrunk down uh, by like a diminution type of a spell. Um, they can't be uh, turned into flesh, you know, by like a stone to flesh. They cannot be teleported. So they resist all kinds of magic and, uh, and magic effects and things of that nature. Now as far as the Blue Queen is concerned, she can be pushed and she can be pulled and she can be moved. Like the other one, she is indestructible. She is resistant to any type of, any type of magic or teleport or anything like that. So to solve the puzzle, Again, the blue bishop says, please move my queen to safety. And the blue bishop's garbs are similar to the blue queen. So hopefully the players figure out that they need to move this blue queen to safety. But she can be easily pushed or pulled. However, she cannot be pushed or pulled out of this, out of this room. Uh, if they try moving her down to these squares and pushing her down the hallway, uh, there is something um, magical that is keeping uh, the Blue Queen from being pushed or pulled or taken out of this room. So obviously to solve the puzzle, the players need to move this Blue Queen to safety. So there is one square on this chessboard that will help solve the puzzle. I'll give you a minute if you'd like to figure it out. Did you get it? Okay, well let's go over the solution. I thought we would use a real chessboard and some real queens to go over everything. So, again we have our seven evil queens with the, glow, uh, the glowing orbs in their hands. Looks like that they're going to uh, blast our uh, adventuring party with some magic if they mess up. We have our blue queen over here. Now, this blue queen can be pushed and pulled in any direction that a queen would move, which is quite a few. And nothing in this room will go off or nothing will happen until the players, um, until the um, PCs let go of the blue queen completely. So once they're done pushing or pulling it, as long as one of the characters are still touching the queen, just like in real chess, if you were to try to move to here, let's say, as long as you keep your finger on it, you can still change your mind. So as long as our PCs, no matter where they move this queen, they move here and here, as long as one of them is still touching it, then nothing will happen. But if they move here, 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 and this is the wrong place, and they quit touching the blue queen, then we're going to get a magical effect from queens that are uh, in the line of fire. So from here, this yellow one, let's say, uh, throws lightning. So um, the blue queen is here, and uh, whatever players are in the area is going to get hit from a lightning bolt from here. And then over here we have a, uh, the green queen, which is in line with the blue queen as well. So you can move over like that. So maybe the uh, green one's going to um, uh, throw some acid. And we've got a poison gas from the gray one. And we've got necro damage from the black one because they're all in, in order. So um, our party members want to push and pull the queen into the correct spot. And as soon as they quit touching the queen completely, if they have her in the wrong, uh, the wrong place, then all hell is going to break loose. So how do we solve the puzzle? Well, there is one square with this current configuration where none of the queens will be able to stop or will be able to hit our blue queen. So like here, the yellow one can hit her. If they move her to here, the gray one can hit her. So the solution is the players need to pull or push to here, pull or push to here, push down here, move over here, let go, and a door will open to the north and the puzzle is solved. So by moving our blue queen here, as you can see, if you go diagonal, there's not, nobody that can hit her here, nobody can hit her here, there's nobody in this row that can hit her, and there's nobody in this row that can hit her. So our blue queen has been pushed or pulled to safety and our door will open to the north and our adventuring party can continue on with their mission.
So that was my puzzle, Save the Queen. And again, that was based off the 1848 puzzle that was entitled the Eight Queen Puzzle. And in the original, you were actually given eight queens or eight queen chess pieces, and you actually had to put them on the board yourself all in po different positions where no queen could harm each other. So just a little bit of a take on that. Again, I just like having all seven in place and then just moving the one to, uh, uh, to solve the puzzle and for the adventures to get on their way. Now, as far as the glowing orbs go, like I said, that's magic, uh, some kind of magic or a magic spell that the, uh, uh, the queens will cast or throw at the party members if they move the blue queen to the wrong spot or if they try to damage one of these seven uh, other queens or uh, try to touch it or cast a spell on it or things of that nature. Now, um, I kind of thought with there being eight different colors, um, here is the type of magic that I thought they could cast. Uh, the yellow could throw a lightning bolt. The green could fire some acid. Uh, red would be a fireball. Uh, the navy one could do some kind of sonic or... Uh, uh, mental uh, damage. The black one could cause some rotting, disease, or necro damage. Uh, the white one would do like a cone of frost. And the silver one could do a cloud burst or a poisonous gas. And as far as how much damage, I mean, that's going to be depending on the level of your characters and as a DM how you decide. So that's my puzzle, Save the Queen. Uh, what did you think of it? Um, is it something that you could use in your D&D or your Pathfinder campaign? Is there something that you would do differently? Please leave a comment below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And as always, on to the next.